and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 University Life Part 8, I think it's Part 8, sorry if it's not but I'm fairly sure that it is. And The Sims, well Eliza has just woken up so I'm gonna get her into her, mo her, mooning, her morning routine and get her ready for the day. Sorry if I seem like really upbeat in this part. I've just had a really big coffee and yeah, I'm um, feeling quite hyper. So if I seem really hyper in this part, that's why. We're gonna add, um, we're gonna add some bumble leaf to this dish. We're gonna see what this does for our sims. Um, I can't remember what I was about to say. Oh yeah, if you hear any talking in the background or anything like that, it will just be my housemates. I'm sorry, like, if you do hear that, but it's just that my, um, our house is really bad for insulation. Like, you can literally hear everything. Like, they're sat below us in the living room and I can still pretty much hear quite a lot of their conversation and our house is just really bad for sound insulation so if you hear any background sounds I apologize. Seb is almost waking up and he is still on the Dean's list which I'm quite glad about. Um, we, I might get his handiness and logic up a bit, he's only on level 1 on both of them so we will do that. He needs the toilet though first, so we'll let him use the toilet and then shower. He can then repair the shower to help get his handiness up. And Eliza, where are you? Oh, she's just added the herb. So we'll see what that does. What? Oh, they're nice quality, but they're smelly. Um, grab a plate, Eliza. They look like they're smelly, but they say that they're nice quality. That might be the- oh no, it was that guy. That was smelly, never mind. So we'll see what these herbs do for Eliza. See if they affect her in any way. And you really need to shower, Derek. You stink like arse, so go get a shower, please. I don't want to be sat next to that whilst eating breakfast. Um, apparently she finds him attractive. Dude, please be quiet and just um, eat your thing. Um, what skills does she need? Cooking, street art, painting. So she has bumble leaf. Eliza feels nearly invincible. She won't get caught tagging and cheating and can withstand fire for a few hours too. What? She can withstand fire? Um, okay. Can we make some cheat notes? Um, I am definitely, next time she has exams, I am using some of that bumble leaf. Does she have any left in her inventory? Sweet grass, cinnamon, ginseng, peppermint, basil. Yeah, so she has more bumble leaf. Um, but why don't you come out here? If we can't get caught, that means that I am going to send her to tag somewhere in the university because we can. So um, let's tag the student union. If we, oops, didn't mean to do that. Go here and let's tag it. Seb is also awake, so he's getting ready. Um, Dylan, you can, once you're up, you can use a shower and eat. If there are um, any messy edits, oh freaking heck, Anoki, why do you do this to us? A fire started, great, just stay away guys, let, let Derek handle it, 
Seb, stay away. Don't even go near it. No, get back in. Oh, frick's sake. Dude. Seb, why don't you help? Instead of just standing there screaming. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to flipping replace that. For God's sakes. That was a close call. Good job at extinguishing the fire before we could arrive. Well, we didn't freaking start it, and Noki did. Idiot. Um, Dylan, go use and shower. Seb, did you? You didn't even repair it. Frick's sake. So go do that right now. And Eliza is sketching. That's cool with me. She can do that. Um, I want you to tag a wall and do a small tag. Can we not do it on the outside? I want to do it on the outside. Oh, this makes me sad. Maybe we can do it inside where no one is, obviously. Um, people are now in that room. How about we do it in our. No, there's people in there. Um, is there anywhere upstairs that people are? No one is upstairs. So quickly come up here and tag that. Like, right now, girl. He's working on his handiness. Eliza, come on up. Let's do this. Seb riding got out the wretch and hammer and repaired a shower. And he's got handiness level 2. Come on. Hurry before someone comes and you get into trouble. Eliza Webber is now a line crosser within the rebel social group. It's a long and winding road to becoming a top rebel so Eliza Webber's friend gave her a street art bag and a megaphone. So we are going to start a protest because we can't. Um, Dylan, do we really want you to go to another party? No. Sorry, but you have a party every day, so we aren't going. Um, Eliza, you can. What can you do, my friend? What can you do? What do you need again? Um, you can. Um, but I don't really know what I want you to do. Um, uh, maybe go and work on your skill, your art skill. So you can head back home and oh actually someone's suggestion was to change the wallpaper to make it a little more like her so i will quickly do that because i agree with you i don't feel as if this is really eliza so we're gonna do this quickly um i'll just give her this for now and then change it to a different color please go away featured store items so I might um I don't really know what color to do it maybe like a hot pink or a dark purple um yeah I'd say that's definitely more Eliza and then go for a black on this there we go and I'll quickly change her bed as well to make it match the room a bit more come on I think someone's cooking in the kitchen so if you can hear banging that is what it will be okay there we go that definitely suits her a lot more yep it's a lot better so Eliza, you can come home 
and sell this painting and then continue on something else. You're eating and then after you've done that you can... Um, why don't you stood? Actually, no. As it's a Sunday, we're gonna treat Seb and he can head over to Keith's comics. And Dylan, why don't you... Hmm. You need to eat. So we'll let you eat first. Um. What are these? Oh, they're the hot dogs. How's this? So go and grab a plate of some autumn salad and then you can head over to um head over to the bowl or armor i think or maybe the gym yeah you can visit the pump you up gym actually we'll go to the pool because then you can get your athletic skill up and she has just sold that painting for 12 simoleons game can you load so practice painting a medium picture because i really want to get your artistic skill up today is just gonna be a lazy sunday because they've been working hard all week they had their exams so i'm gonna quickly show you keith's comics there's just a heck of a lot of people here at the minute I do love this about university life, there always seems to be like plenty of people around. You're never stuck to find people. Ooh, fellow nerd, fellow nerd. Oh, she's really scary. But why don't you give her a little friendly introduction, Seb? I actually went onto my YouTube like a few minutes before recording this and someone had commented on my first part of university life and just put the nerd's hot and I completely agree with you the nerd is hot I don't care like if people are like oh how can you find sims hot you know that he is attractive oh she has no sense of humor and she's attracted to him oh she's a bookworm how about we boast about our gamer skills because she's a fellow nerd and and he's about comic books considering we're at a comic book store sophie hi sophie how are you oh she smells we're not gonna talk to you i'm sorry we don't talk to smelly people as bad as that sounds. People that smell are my, I'm not gonna say least favorite people, but just just try to put an effort to smell nice. It's not that hard, is it? <laughs> um, why don't you actually swim considering you're at the pool? That sounds like, who is this? This dude, can we just take a minute? Is an old man is an aging hippie pretty much with tiny pink fairy wings how cute we're talking to an aging hippie with tiny pink fairy wings i wish there was an aging hippie with tiny pink fairy wings in my university that would be great so go and dive he's intrigued but no, we're gonna go work on our athletic skill. And Eliza's still painting. And Seb's just getting on with this girl. Congratulations, Eliza has just improved her painting skill to level three. Congratulations, Eliza. Seb, why don't you, um, um, social networking, browse the web, I kind of want to work on his social networking a little bit, so yeah, just do that for a bit, uh, dude, we're not going to your party, Paris, now stop, Dylan, 
you're getting chilly. Uh, go home. Go home. You did not swim at all. But that's okay. Uh, I kind of want to work on his social skills anyway, considering it was something that came with university life. I do kind of want to show off that side of things because they have this thing where you either get offered a higher place job um, if you get your degree and you do quite well in your degree or you can get offered like new career perspectives like um, game designer I think is one of them if you reach level 10 of I think it's of your, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Your social group. So if you reach level 10 of your social group then you get a job offer. I think the jock one is like a trainer or something. I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to definitely read up on them and tell you guys about them because they're kind of cool actually. So Dylan, why don't you use the blog app? We can start working on your blog. So let's make a new blog. A window into being mean. No. Let's not call it that. Um, let's call it the next big thing. Because he wants to be an athlete. The next big thing. So create this blog. You can ask followers for donations so yeah you can ask followers for donations um let's do a new post truth is all that time we spent together i was thinking about recent adoption let's not go there let's put lazy days are never lazy days for a an inspiring athlete. Post a blog. Dylan Miller's followers thought his last post was okay. The next big thing has gained six followers. Dylan Miller's blog was born from a single idea, but big things have small beginnings. And he's just flexing. Why don't you bone up on anatomy and just do this for a while because your grades aren't very good at the minute and Eliza's almost finished her painting this actually no I was gonna say it actually looks okay but it really doesn't like no it doesn't what was I thinking I think probably in the next part we're going to start a protest it's an aspect that came with university life and I think it's one of the funnest parts of university life. Like just gathering a crowd and protesting is really hilarious and yeah it's like protests happen so much in university. I've seen quite a few since starting university and I've only been here a year and a half. So yeah it's pretty realistic side of university it's not usually like rebels or such it's just people disagreeing with what the either the government's planning for university students or something along those lines and someone's hitting on seb and he's very angry with us dude you just hit on us why are you angry check out those pants you should be angry at the fact that you're a jock and you wear those pants just just saying Mika Moore she's cute and she finds us attractive oh no she's not that cute sorry Seb why don't you head home you're gonna start smelling soon Dylan's still getting chilly oh it's fall I didn't realize it had turned to fall how long has this part been even going okay that's fine so Dylan's working on his um, grades a little bit because he was not doing so great. Eliza, why don't you make the boys... Actually, 
let's put that away and then eat leftover autumn salad Seb you go to the toilet and grab a shower and then maybe um do we have a logic book or a chessboard do we have a chessboard in here I don't think we do darn it read mm, nope we don't want to read any of that I should have really bought a chessboard but oh well is there any jobs for um, social groups you can check that see if there is and Eliza does not look happy what was that face for girl um it's almost 10 p.m so why don't you quickly um why don't you draw something just practice your sketching what is she in oh she's only a level two he they're both level six and she's a level two so we i kind of want to get her rebellious up a bit the protest in the next part will definitely help with that. Dylan has just improved his athletic skill to level 4. Well done Dylan, I'm proud of you. And um, But you need the toilet and then you need sleep. So go use this after you've finished that and then sleep. And Seb wants- oh he's- Throwing the old pigskin. Is being a classic? No, that's jock. We don't want jock influence. Um, why don't you just come to bed? Oh, actually, eat something first. Uh, eat some leftover autumn salad, and then head to bed. I always forget that theirs is on the third floor. And then, I'm gonna finish this part here. I, I just want to watch what Eliza's drawing. She seems to be getting better in her art, like she isn't drawing stick people anymore. And Dylan has just improved his science skill to level 2. Congrats Dylan. But yeah I'm gonna send- oh, do, I didn't even see what she had drawn. Congratulations, Eliza has just improved her street art skill to level 2. Eliza Weber has been making some sweet street art and others are noticing she will automatically put out a tip jar to earn simoleons when creating murals. So guys, I am going to end this part here. It was quite short, but I need to pre-record so much for this weekend because I'm going back home so I won't have my computer with me. So yeah, I'm probably going to pre-record three or four videos. So. Hopefully there'll be a new video up Friday, Saturday, Sunday, hopefully, if I can get it all done tonight and uploaded. Um, so yeah, we'll keep a lookout for those, there'll probably be two parts of late night and then one more part of university. So yeah, definitely keep an eye out for those and yeah, I'll see you in the next part, bye!